designed for Six Sigma DFSS. Let us learn this in more detail now. It is the methodology to enhance new product and service development process. It provides a more systematic way to manage the deliverables, resources and trade-offs. It helps you to deliver better products and services that your customers want and willing to pay for at Six Sigma level. Look at the schematic on the screen for some time. You will understand the difference between DFSS and DMAIC easily. DFSS This is used for new product development. Here it contains observations, design and development, testing and launch. DMAIC this is used for product improvement. Here it solves the quality, dependability and durability issues. So, DMAIC reduces defects in existing products or processes whereas DFSS is often used when designing new products and services. DFSS can also be used when there are no processes in place for an existing product or service or if the process is poorly designed and only a drastic redesign will achieve the desired performance level to meet customer requirements. You may also find an existing product or service process has reached its maximum potential but still does not meet the desired performance level or customer specification. Here, DFSS can be used in your redesign. Implementing the Design for Six Sigma approach ensures that the process and product design will meet your customer requirements and you are launching a low defect level product or service right from the start. Benefits of Design for Six Sigma DFSS is a customer oriented design. It is a systematic and creative design. It focuses on robust performance and is based on prevention philosophy. Following are the benefits. Enhanced customer satisfaction. Reduced variation. Robust design. Reduction in warranty costs. Enhanced component reliability and durability. Higher market share, higher revenue and business growth, defects reduction and product acceleration. In the design phases of the DFSS or DMADV or IDOV methodologies, we encounter, depending upon the objective of the project, certain important factors that need to be taken into account while designing the product. They are Design for cost Design for manufacturing Design for testability Design for maintainability Design for robustness Design for usability Design for extended functionality Design for efficiency Design for performance Design for security Design for scalability Design for agility Design for compliance How the impact of DFSS is seen? As discussed earlier, DFSS methodology is used in the early stages of the product design and development. It is important for us to understand how it impacts the resources in various stages of the design cycle and the product launch time. Now look at the schematic on the right side of the screen. If we plot a graph of the resources used versus the time of the design cycle and the launch times, then we see the following. The resources used at the start of the product development process is very high but decreases as the cycle reaches the launch time. 
the actual resource utilization is high near the mid of the design cycle and near the launch date. The budgeted resource utilization even crosses after the launch date due to any problem occurring after release, that is, to tackle the traditional post-release problems.